Okay, we are live. <laughs> I thank God for this opportunity. But today network is not going. Network, the mobile network, internet is not fine. So maybe this video may be interrupted in the middle. Uh, please uh, <clears throat> bear with me. So today, very very good morning to you, and this is a very fresh morning to all my. Facebook friends and I'm going to post this video in YouTube also. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night because you may watch this video any time. So I welcome you to God's Word. Today we are going to see one one verse. Uh, the topic for today is you have seen in the topic everlasting peace. I will read you one verse. John fourteen twenty seven. Peace I leave with you. Jesus is telling his disciples. Peace. I live with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you? Let not your heart be troubled, neither it be afraid. So Jesus is telling his disciples because these disciples they were frustrated and they were afraid because Jesus was telling, "I am going to leave you. I am going to go away from this world. So you have to be here." So these disciples were confused, and uh, they were. looking at each other with fear and they were asking what what he is telling we don't understand but jesus is telling do not be afraid peace i leave with you my peace i give to you why jesus is telling my peace what is the meaning of peace of jesus what is that difference between the jesus peace and another peace because in this world there are two kinds of peace one is the worldly peace another one is the peace of god See what do you mean by peace? See, I am living a peaceful life. That means, I, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that I don't have any problems. I am not having any problems. I have everything I need, so I am happy. I have peace. No, not like that. Each and every person in this world, <clears throat> every human beings have needs. Every human being has problems. Whether you may be a child or whether you may be a grown up, but you have problems in your life. That is natural. But in this life even though we have problems but god's peace will protect us will give us the knowledge and wisdom to overcome that problem and to live a peaceful life i believe one person is watching me if uh, you are watching live you comment praise the lord amen or hallelujah or glory to god or good morning anything so that i can see you who is watching me i just i can thank you please kindly comment so the peace of god means what peace of god means that is the real peace but many people in this world they are going after the peace of the world the peace of the world see imagine if a person is frustrated if a person is full of tensions and troubles in life so what they will do uh, oh i am worried much i am i am frustrated i have this tension so that is that is the word we use today tension tension so what he is doing he is going out then he is having a drink he is drinking alcohol or he is smoking or he is watching a movie or he is doing a bad stuff because what he is telling i want peace i don't have peace in my family i don't have peace in my workplace i i am confused i am frustrated i am worried so i am going for for peace in gujarati we say aram aram means rest rest for mind not the body so why these people are doing like this because imagine if you drink alcohol or if you take drugs or if you smoke how long that peace will last how long it will last maybe one hour or two hours i don't know <clears throat> maybe just a few hours or few minutes that's all after that you are going to have that same problem you are going to have that same tension you are going to be frustrated but people what they are telling at least that one hour i will be at peace i will my mind will be at rest so i am doing that see that is the worldly peace world kind of peace but if you want my dear friend if you want real peace if you want really if if you want a peaceful mind really the bible says what is the protocol peace i live with you not peace i live with you sorry my peace i give to you so the peace of jesus will make you happy will make you 
at your mind at rest so my dear friend if you are frustrated if you are worried you may be over you may be coming across any problem in your life at this present time you are watching this video whatever your problem problem may be but i advise you and i recommend you you ask jesus jesus give me your peace i don't want the peace of the world i don't want the peace of this uh, uh, alcohol or that peace which is which i can earn through alcohol or cigarette or smoke this this kinds of not nasty things i don't want but i don't i want the everlasting peace i want the real peace so what this peace will do to me you can see in this world <clears throat> as in this word of god philippians 4 7 it says and the peace of god listen and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding you cannot imagine how much that peace is you cannot tell in your words see i have jesus i accepted jesus in my life before that i was a wretch i was a rogue i was nothing because i was doing all kinds of sin in in my life to enjoy my life but i did not receive i did not earn peace in my life my dear friend you are watching this video you are a young person but you are telling i don't have peace in my mind i don't have a peace of mind so i am doing like this see i was a person like you i was addicted to many kinds of sins but at that time i did not have a real peace because the bible says the peace of god which surpasses all understanding you cannot explain the peace of jesus because once i accepted jesus i accepted jesus when i was studying in my college the final year uh, maybe i i was 18 or 19 years at that time when i accepted jesus christ as my personal savior you will not believe me you will not believe me i had that kind of peace my dear friend until today i am having that peace that doesn't change the fact that i have problems in my life but i have the peace of god because this is not my peace this is not the world peace this is the peace of god which he has given to me through jesus christ hallelujah so so when i accepted jesus christ in my life i was very happy i was i i cannot explain people how much i was happy because was the first time i went to my church before that also i was attending church but i told my pastor i am going to give a testimony my pastor was shocked because he knew who i was the whole congregation knew the whole city the whole village knew all the church members knew who i was and the people was saying why what this person is going to do he is going before and he is telling oh he is giving testimony wow what i cannot believe that many people told me i did not believe that brother what you are telling because they knew me who i was i was that kind of person before i accepted jesus christ believe me so after i accepted jesus christ that peace it did not it was overflowing i cannot hold that i want to give that peace to everyone i saw so i started preaching the gospel what is the gospel man what is the gospel many people they tell gospel is the good news good news jesus came for you he died for you he rose again he gave you salvation yes that's really true but the true gospel is i have to show that i am having that peace that god gives me see if, if i am crying all the time oh jesus oh jesus help me jesus help me jesus oh god oh father if i am crying all the time if a non christian looks at me what he will tell i don't want that kind of god because this person is always crying to his god I want a God who gives me happiness. I want a God who gives me peace of mind. I need a God who fulfills my needs. But if you are a crying Christian, nobody will like your God. But even though I have problems, even though I have a lot of needs in my life, even though I am coming across a lot of ups and downs in my life, my dear friend, I can tell you, I have the peace of God which surpasses all understanding i cannot think about it i cannot explain it so what this peace will do which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts my dear friend listen to me youngster you teenager listen to me it guards you if you receive the peace of god 
through Jesus Christ. It will guard your hearts and minds. Amen. It says, it will guard your hearts and minds. Many people, they are not able to guard their hearts and minds. Their mind is roaming here and there. It is going here and there, falling this sin, falling in this sin, that sin, here, there. Because they don't have a protection. See, which, which protects your heart? Which protects your mind? The peace of God through Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I request you today, if you are addicted to any sin, or if you say, I am frustrated, I am worried, I am, I am done with my life. I don't want to live anymore. This life is terrible. I want to die. My dear friend, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen. I am talking to you. Listen to this. Your life is not going to end. This is the beginning of your life. Because till today, you don't know about the peace of Jesus Christ. My dear friend, will you accept the peace which surpasses all understanding? And it will give you that, my, that much of happiness. You can enjoy that life. Enj See, God gave us this life to enjoy. Enjoying means what youngsters will think. Drinking, dancing, party, smoking, this, that. No, no, no. That kind of, that is useless enjoyment. That is for minutes. That's all. But this peace will make you enjoy. Enjoyment means what? Whatever things go wrong in my life. I, I have the peace of mind. Even though my pocket is empty, even though I don't have money, even though I don't have a good health, even though I don't live a luxurious life, even though I don't have the, I don't have the things which I need, I'm happy. I praise the Lord. I pray. I preach because I have the peace that surpasses all understanding which God gave to me, which Jesus gave to me. My dear friend, receive the peace today because Jesus is telling, peace, I live with you. My peace, I give to you. My dear friend, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Don't worry about your life. It is going to change. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent in this life. Everything will change. Everything will change. Your time is coming. Your blessing is on the way.